everybody, it's Joanna Vargas from Joanna Vargas Skincare in New York City. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about removing makeup before you wash your face at night. A lot of people don't like to bother doing two steps, me included, um, but sometimes when you do wear makeup that's difficult to remove, it's best to use a makeup remover in order to get everything off so you can get nice clean skin before you go to bed at night. Um, one of my favorite natural ways of getting rid of your makeup at night is to use coconut oil. Coconut oil is awesome for any skin type because um, it's naturally very detoxing. It has lots of omega-3 fatty acids in it so it's very rich to use um, and it's very simple to use. You can kind of, you know, um, take it out and apply it in circular motions with your fingers all over your face, giving extra time to your eyelashes, especially if you use um, waterproof mascara like I do. You wanna work it into the skin really, really well, um, and then you need to take a wipe of some kind to wipe it off. It's a little bit old fashioned to use, um, and like I said, some people who don't want to spend a lot of time on this might feel like it's a little bit time consuming, but it really gets everything off and it makes your skin feel really good. Um, you can follow that by using a cleanser if you wanted to. Um, another way of getting your makeup off a little bit faster and a little bit easier is to use Eminence Organics um, makeup remover. All you need to do is push on the top um, with a cotton round. It's a water-based foaming makeup remover, but very, very, very gentle. You don't need to use it on wet skin. You can use it on dry skin and just wipe. Um, it's great at getting mascara off the face um, and getting everything kind of out of your pores. Uh, you do need to use cleanser afterward. Um, and I would recommend that you did so just to get a nice clean palette for bedtime. Uh, everybody needs to remember that while you're sleeping, nighttime is your, your body's time to repair itself. So if you're not getting everything off the surface of your skin, you're kind of robbing yourself the opportunity to get a full cycle of repair in before you start your day in the morning. Um, the last thing I would recommend if you don't want to do makeup remover as a step at all is to use a cleanser that's foaming um, that might have a bit of exfoliation properties in it because that way it'll get all of the makeup off in one step. My own cleanser, the Joanna Vargas Vitamin C Face Wash is what I use on my face because I feel like everybody's interrupting me while I'm trying to get ready for bed. Um, if you have children, um, even if you don't, you're getting texts, whatever, you want to make sure that you do it as fast and thoroughly as possible. So using a cleanser that has a bit of enzymes in it or a bit of lactic acid really helps in getting your makeup off. Um, that way you have a nice clean palette, you can use a repairing serum at night, and when you wake up you're going to have nice clean dewy skin in the morning. 